if you are outside please can you come right in we are started and we want to kick off right away if you are outside you are in the foyer wherever you are please let's come right in we are starting right away we want to begin to bless the name of the lord for our dear mommy gloria olushola bamiloye and you're all welcome tonight in jesus name this great woman of god was born february 4th ah uh, whoever calculates well we know the year that's an assignment amen she was born in the city of elisha in ocean state born to the family of pabelo ojo obembe and olabisi obembe and she met daddy mike bamiloye at the ocean state college of education in guess which department drama department here tonight to celebrate life and to give god praise for 60 years of his wonderful works in her life for our mother celebrate Jesus tonight hallelujah you may be seated in God's presence has anyone I don't think anyone here maybe a few of you have seen mommy in the past few months doesn't she look gorgeous doesn't she look gorgeous daddy she stole this one from you today she did let's celebrate our mother and the Lord again welcome again we want to welcome each and every one of you that have traveled far and wide that live in the houston environment those from here the us locally we want to thank you for showing up today to celebrate a mother in the lord it's amazing to see her turn 60 god bless you mommy amen and the children all the way from nigeria d baba and j mikey awesome and for those of you watching online all our audiences watching online we want to thank you for joining us today what assignment you have for me Jehovah speak what is that next assignment we cannot stay here any longer I have done every single thing you asked me to do I need to do more I can't stay here alone what is the next thing you know me I will do it thank you so much for the opportunity um, I want to just sing one song today and it's uh, dedicated to mommy Gloria Bamiloe and this song is is a message and the reason why this song is picked is because mommy's life I always say is a testimony um, she's standing here today not because everything has been perfect she's standing here today not because everything was smooth or life has been easy she's standing here because because Jesus has always been her portion why should my heart be lonely and long for the heavens above? 
when Jesus is my portion, my constant friend is his eyes is on the sparrow. It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. Praise the Lord. Five minutes. <laughs> ah, five minutes. <laughs> anyway, I will praise him. Please, seriously. Praise the Lord. <laughs> the Lord is good. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Mm. I greet everybody and I appreciate all of you for this for your for honoring this invitation. And I'm surprised, even I was surprised when I so I've seen so many faces. I tell you, my sister. That is my mother. I want to clap for her. That's my mother. <laughs> because when my mother died, she's the next mother we have. And I'm grateful that Pastor Badru, <laughs> Sister Mommy Shade, you made this happen. The Lord will honor you. The Lord will honor all my brothers and sisters in drama ministry and in King's Palace. I appreciate you all. I appreciate you, Lord. Thank you very much. Thank you for the love of God and um, for, your, for your concern for what God is doing in his work, in his ministry. The Lord will continue to keep us at the end in the name of Jesus. And most importantly, I want to appreciate this man standing beside me. <laughs> Where are you standing beside me? <laughs> I'm not running away now. <laughs> I've been with him for, for years. I appreciate you seriously. He has been a father, a brother. And my baby too. <laughs> Brother Mike is a wonderful man. So I appreciate you. I thank all my, I appreciate everybody and my children. My, my first boyfriend, Tammy Lola. And Joshua. And their wives. God has given me more daughters in the house. Believe me, they have been my daughters. And I'm, I really, really appreciate God for this gift God has surrounded me with. They are there. When we are taking those pictures, you saw, they are the one dressing me up. The wives are the one making me up. They are, the, they are there. When we are having small parts in our house, they are the one doing everything. So much appreciate all those wonderful daughters that God has given me. And I, when I, when I, when I didn't see Dami, I will call Hela. Where is Dami? When I see Joshua, I will call Tolu. The same with Lawrence has been my boy. God has been so wonderful. He has been so good to me. I don't know how to praise him. But one thing that I will forever praise him for, for is the knowledge of Christ. There's no life without Christ. I will have died long, long, long ago. But Jesus saved me. We were born into a Muslim family. That's my sister. 
But God was so wise to have given us a wonderful mother who loved the Lord. When God told Joseph and Mary, take this child away from here so that the enemy will not kill the child. The same thing with my mother. The Lord used her to take us away for some time. That I didn't even know her. But later, the Lord brought us back. My being alive today has been by His grace and the efforts of that woman, my mother. He died in my house. She died in my house. She has been a wonderful mother and she loved the Lord. And I want to thank God for knowing him. In that house, I will have died. But the knowledge of God, that's why I cannot praise God or thank him enough. It's the, that Holy Spirit, ah, at that tender age, giving my life to Jesus, coming into my life, filling me up with his spirit, really, really helped me to survive and to live in that house. He gave me instruction. He talked to me. I knew him early in life. I got born again when I was in primary school and the experience was so real. If not for Christ, I will not be alive today. But Jesus, if you are here, <laughs> give your life to Jesus. Oh. And if you say you are, you are for Jesus, they know whom you are serving. You have to be committed to him. Because he loves us so much. His plan for us, his thought for us is so great. Ah, love him and know him. So who am I to be here today? It is because of Jesus. He saved me. Not only saving me, he gave me this man standing beside me. And he put me in the ministry. He committed his work into my hands. And he has been there all along. I, thought, I just read a scripture. He said, hear my cry, O God. Attend unto my prayer. From the end of the heart will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, is fainting, lead me to the rock that is higher than high. For thou art been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the cover of thy wings. For thou, O God, hast hurt me. You hurt my vows. Thou art given me the heritage of those that fear thy name. Even when my heart is fainting, I've seen him surprising me, manifesting his power, moving me from nothing to something in life. When I think I can't even, maybe, maybe, you know, we face series of things in life and in the ministry. But Jesus has always been there. Taking someone from nothing to become someone, someone in life. So, in all, I want to bless him for the salvation of my soul. For deliver me from the bondage of the devil. For enable me to know him. I'm still knowing him more. Because that father is so wide. And the more I desire to know him, the more I see him talking, guiding myself. I want to thank him for all my brethren in the ministry. I want to thank God for my husband. And I want to thank God for my brethren. It has been a long journey. And, and God has always been faithful. He has given me people that love me. He has given me people like Pastor Badru and Mommy Badru. It's favor. I want to appreciate everyone. I give God all the glory, all the honor, all adoration for the Holy Spirit. He's a wonderful companion. He has been there. He has been there. He has been faithful. I want to rise up, just praise him, appreciate that Holy Spirit. 
is so wonderful, is so faithful, is so is so real, is able. Even when you don't know what to do, you will see him coming, coming up and guiding us. He has been there for us. He has been keeping me. Even over all these children, you see, it has been God, direction, guidance, leading. Oh, Holy Spirit has been so wonderful. He has been so wonderful. Let us appreciate him and thank him for me. Just say, Holy Spirit, we thank you for this girl. Small girl getting saved at a tender age. And she continue to guide. Holy Spirit, I bless you. I worship you. I, I don't know how to thank you. And I just say, this one life. That is the play. They, that's play they presented the other time. This one life, just use it for your glory. Just use it for your glory. I appreciate you, Lord, and I want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for everything. Thank you, Jesus. I bless your holy name. In Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you very much. Please let, shall we have our seats? I, the, I am just giving the assignment of um, appreciating um, this woman. Um, sorry, this girl uh, that is standing by me. By the special grace of God, I will read my full appreciation on Sunday. But I want to thank the Lord for the life of this precious gift of God for my life. I will just say a very simple thing this evening. We all know Abraham as father of faith, but in the book of Hebrew, Sarah was said to be mother of faith, that by faith, she conceived. It means Abraham would not have been father of faith if there had not been Sarah that also have faith to conceive the promise that God has given to Abraham. We thank God for your life. Give glory to God. On behalf of me and uh, Dami and Joshua and Dara and their spouses, Dami and Ella, Joshua and Tolu, and uh, Dara and Lawrence. We say we appreciate you. Happy birthday to the queen of the Bamiyo dynasty. The Lord bless you more and more. The Lord. I've done great things. I will read this passage, just Proverbs 31. It's a favorite chapter of the Bible. Proverbs 31, woman. Proverbs 31, woman. So I will read it from here. The strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in times to come. I prophesy that upon your life in the name of Jesus. She opened her mouth with wisdom, and her tongue is law of kindness. She looked well to the ways of her household, and that is what my wife does. Even the children can testify. Even, even when Dami has married, can you imagine? He has married, he has gone to his house. My wife called in the night. Dami, have you locked the gate of your house? <laughs> Abio. I said, the boy has gone. As she, as thank God. So up to now, she she asking them some question. And I, um, have you locked the gate of your house? Do you, well, Proverbs that one woman, that is her character. <laughs> said that uh, she look well to the way of her household, and eats not the bread of idleness. My wife is very hardworking, and she's a she, she's a prayer machine. She's a prayer machine. She's a prayer warrior. 
She's a prayer mother. The, all these children can testify. The Lord bless you more and more. On behalf of my life, my children, and my ministry, we say happy birthday to you in the name of Jesus. Our children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also. Praise her. Praise her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but you excel them all. You excel them all. So I want to say verse 30 to those who are concerned. Favor is deceitful. Beauty is vain. No. But the woman that feared the Lord, she shall be praised. And that is the picture of my wife. She feared the Lord. And today, you give glory to God for your life. You, should, you will live more, more years in the name of Jesus. God bless you. And also, Pastor Badro, you are a father here in this land. God bless you, sir. Mommy Badro, thank you for making this place our home church. I want to greet all our brethren that come from different places. Ralph Singh from Canada. That's the president of the Christian Dramas Association of Canada. God bless you for coming. <laughs> Reverend Fatoki. From, from Florida, God bless you. You are grateful. We didn't know you would come. We didn't know you would come. You have just surprised us. And our mommy, God bless you for coming. Thank you very much. Where is she? Ah, God bless you. And South God bless you. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ah, Sabola. Sabola. Yeah, Sabola. Ah, Esheo from New York. God bless you. Sister Bumi from Canada. God bless you. And her daddy from Canada too. She came with, his, with her husband. God bless you, sir. I don't know who to greet against. Ah, Rashen Jonathan. Rashen Jonathan, king of boys. <laughs> In the Lord, the Lord bless you so much. The Lord will increase your anointing more. Jesus. You are the only one in your class. The simple song. Mm. Jesus, Pamela. Oh, will me son. Hallelujah. Give God the glory to say thank you, Lord, for this life that you have preserved. For the thou changes not. Thou changes not. Thou changes not. Thy compassion. will make it eternally in heaven in the name of Jesus thank you heavenly father blessed be your name oh God in Jesus mighty name we have prayed Amen. for death thank you she had kept she have walked through valleys of death but you raised her up and you sustained her because you still have planned for her she still have roles to play in your kingdom we thank you jesus father today we stand here i as the husband and you have given her to us you gave her to me to my family and father we st i we stand here on behalf of the church of god and these ministers and i'm standing in their midst to pray for you in the name of jesus Amen. that the lord will continually keep you Amen. in the name of jesus all what is in your heart to do, that you desire to do for Jesus, all you will do in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
all that is in the heart of God that he wants you to fulfill for him, all shall be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. None of the visions in your heart shall be left undone. In the name of Jesus, all these visions God has put in your heart shall continually blossom. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. So um, we are wrapping up this evening with a vote of thanks. And Daddy has given a perfect vote of thanks. But I would just want us to just, if you don't mind, can we just stand up for a few seconds to appreciate and thank the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the I am that I am, the ancient of this. And we are going to shout three powerful hallelujah to, to, to Jesus Christ for his grace and for his mercy. May the Lord continue to bless you and to increase you and to enlarge you. Was it early last year? Was it early last year, the pastor just threw that question out of the blues. I didn't expect it. How are we celebrating mommy's? It's just directly to me. What are the plans for mommy's sister's birthday? And I was blank. So I had to, I, I, I couldn't tell him that I don't have anything in mind for mommy's. It's my mommy's birthday. But I have to look for the quickest political answer to answer. So I just telling me, we are on top of the matter, sir. On top of the matter. But the truth is, we are not on top of anything. <laughs> because I did not even know my mommy was clocking 60. It, it, it hit me. That was the first time it hit me, like a reality that mom is actually going to be 60. And he actually pushed us. We are going to have a meeting. Then he asked the lady, last time we came, that was like late last year. He asked again, what is the plan for mommy's birthday? I said, okay, this is what we are going to do. We are going to start a meeting, meeting and that was how we started a meeting. And it's, it's, it's a reality today. The Lord will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord will increase you and enlarge you in Jesus' name. So love he died.